Continued detention of Namdi Kanu will cause more problem than peace in Nigeria. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Germany-based cleric reacts to the continued incarceration of Marzi Namdi Kanu, says Nigeria Govt has decided to destroy Nigeria then do the right thing. The Roman Catholic priest who is based in Germany, Father Chidi Angelo Onegbu, in a post made on his official Facebook platform expressed deep displeasure and dissatisfaction on the reversed, politically motivated trial of the IPOB leader by the Nigerian government, stating that he, Namdi Kanu, has been granted freedom by the Nigerian court, but the federal government has refused to see reason, and has continued to keep him in solitary confinement because of his ethnic and tribal coloration. He further stated, that no country progresses without administering justice evenly and that the incarceration of MNK amongst other irregularities are the reason why the Nigerian state is on the verge of total collapse. Marzi Namdi Kanu is still being detained despite court orders to release him because of his tribe. Unfortunately, no country progresses without justice. Still holding Marzi Namdi Kanu despite the crippling economy shows that the country prefers destroying itself to doing the right thing. The case of Marzi Namdi Kanu and so many other irregularities and offenses are the reasons the country is about to collapse completely. Allow the innocent man to go. I did not say grant him freedom because that has already been granted. One holding one on the ground is also holding himself. Recall that on February 26, 2024, the Nigerian government in a reversed trial bid arraigned the IPOB leader in the federal high court to stand and face trial for alleged terrorism charges. Although, beforehand following his kidnap and extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria, the Nigerian government has initially filed treasonable and terrorism-related charges which were consequently and eventually quashed over the course of two years, 2021-2022. The Supreme Court of Appeal on 13 October 2022, discharged and acquitted the defendant on the premises that the federal government violated not only the Nigerian laws. Kanu's personal human rights but also international treaties which the Nigerian state is a signatory to and forthwith barred his further trial in any Nigerian court. The United Nations Working Group also expressed the same sentiment and called for the unconditional release of Mr. Kanu as his methods of activism are indeed legitimate and he was wronged by the desperate actions of the Nigerian government. However, the federal government has insisted that it would continue to source for means and justification routes within the Nigerian legal system that would eventually nail the IPOB leader and exonerate it from any wrongdoing, which at climax is obviously the violation of Intel law. This however prompted the IPOB movement to declare a vote of no confidence on the Nigerian judiciary which it has zeroed in of having been intimidated into being an extension of the federal government, issuing judgments and resolution at its behest. Nevertheless, the Nigerian government has continued in its overtures or rather be called a vicious cycle with no definite end in sight. Thanks for watching. Emanasis. Tinubu government is a failure. In a country where you allow injustice to reign. Such country is about to fail. Though it's not a surprise then, because I told you from the beginning that Tinubu would be the worst of Buhari. I also told you that everything was planned. Bringing Tinubu into office is what Buhari planned. And he had his reason with the help of British government. His reason was he does not want to Any other person to become president apart from Tinibu, that way, him will not be prosecuted for the atrocities he committed against several people and Nigerians. Second, to make sure that Namde Kano continue to remain in custody until he denounces Biafra, this is, was actually their plans. And that I've said in several times that Namde Kano will be the last part to denounce Biafra. But there is some part. These leaders are not getting. That part is this. So many of us that you called faceless actually know what we are doing. What we are seeing in Ibo land today, some group of idiots going around killing their brothers and sisters, 
will be different to what you are going to see. If you name the Kano is jail unnecessarily, why the Api court has already decided its fate? We are going to make Nigeria half sleepless night, not in Biafra land. It will be both in Biafra land and Nigeria himself. Why I said it both in Biafra land and Nigeria himself? That all those leaders who think who don't know that they collaborated with Nigerian government to be turned the Kano will never have peace. For some time now, I have refused to say something. It has always been old news from old news. There's one problem about her people is that they have refused to borrow sense. Our Igbo brothers are collaborating with the Yoruba government to deny Namde Carlo unconditional bear that was given to him, unconditional release that was given to him by a picot. Buhari could have they sent him back to high court, but he did not do so because why? Because he knows that will be going against the law so much. Because Bugari himself was aware that Namde Kano has been discharged by a court. It doesn't matter what Supreme Court said. He had to first of all discharge a man that a court discharged before finding another case against him. If there is any case at all. But you are also doing the undoable by bringing back the case that our big court has already squashed. And you claim that you are the president. You change lawyers. You feel that you are a president. You want to join them, they can. Just try and see. I've said it before. Everywhere in the world, We hear the score, wherever your families are. Some people believe that getting at someone in a rope is difficult. That is for those who doesn't know their whereabouts. That's for those who doesn't know their way around. If that is so difficult. My worst sad niggas. For not the why people of necessary see they go through with it. We have said this several times. This man has been discharged by a big court. And that is what we believe in. So I don't blame IPOB saying that they have hands off their hand from the continuum. Try of Nam the camp. What do you want them to say? To agree with Tinibu or the so-called uh, Supreme Court who delivered Biazi's judgment against the man that was set free by a big court so that tomorrow when they succeed in jailing him they will say everybody agreed to do that. As far as we are concerned now the Kano has been set free by a big court. Every other thing they are doing is a shred. And that we will not take. Go and mark it one place. God help those that hide themselves. None the kind never committed any crime. No weapon was found with him. Unlike Sunday Bowles. But today, a Yoruba president wants to prove otherwise. Because he believes. You know, the funniest part is that when they are doing this, when you look at those doing this, you find out that these are drug barons, criminals who contributed in destroying human life. Criminals who followed Buhari to different African countries to bring in terrorism to Nigeria. Buhari did his own. As a terrorist as he was, judiciary was busy knocking bear for him. DSS was busy fooling themselves. They believed that they were untouchable. 
And they should go and ask questions to the other world country. And they will understand. When men are determined, they are determined. The only prayer I pray for them, the canon, nothing will happen to him. And should never accept anything coming from the so called Ohanese, especially the newly elected Ohanese. He should not allow them to deceive him. They started all this thing from the beginning because of hatred and because of not the carol refused to acknowledge some bunch of criminals who call themselves leaders. How can Ohanese? Open their eyes and tell the people to vote us them my mom who destroy him state for the second term. And you still have the audacity to be ranting everywhere on the internet. Let us see how everything flows. I think I've come to the end of this news.